Hey guys, welcome back for another beer review and we're back in the lovely land of Holland in the Netherlands and um, ironically enough I've been reading quite an interesting article about um, these guys Brewery de Moulin and there is whoops, de Moulin, the windmill um, and I thought they were a lot older than, than the 2004 that they actually are which is, um, yeah, ridiculous. But um, got a couple of nice beers from them. Um, I'm trying to go back to pairing things up again. We'll see how long that lasts. Um, but yeah, I've got a few things in the pipeline. Um, and this beer, I'm told, is a triple C beer. He says, reading it, I should hold this up, shouldn't I? Um, up and stop um, and down here, you can see that it is citrus. Oops, Citra, Cascade and Columbus. Triple C, which usually is quite cool. Um, it is in a beautiful design bottle. Um, up and top. It's a pale ale. Oh, and as usual, we are not getting fuckoos. Come on, dude. Unbelievably bizarre. Four and a half percent. Um, drink at four to six degrees Celsius. Well, I've definitely had it in um, in the fridge. Uh, barley hops, yeast, malt. So, and a little bit of wheat, I think, in this bad boy. Oh, yeah. My uh, clog opening, but yeah, have a look at the top. De Moulin. Even the top of the beer is branded Brewery de Moulin, the Windmill Brewery, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, let's get into it. I dug out this glass once more because it is like a tulip. Lovely aroma from the bottle. I don't think this is supposed to be a hazy, but because it's got some wheat in it, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a little bit of haze. Mm, not much. Up and top. Look at that. Lovely, lovely. Oh, it says it's pale ale. I'd say kind of quite dark pale. Um, just under a finger's head. Quite fluffy bubbles, not quite white pure white not white as the driven snow which some are oh. ah yes we're getting that old school american ipa type thing in a pale ale <laughs> from the netherlands Getting fruit, but we're also getting grass, getting peach. Little touch of kind of orangey, tangerine type fruit, maybe as well. I know I'm going to like this one already. Cheers and beers, guys. Um, yeah, as, um, as some people have noticed, um, yeah, not not my usual self, and I haven't been uploading like every day like I have been for the last month or two. Um, but yeah, I haven't been feeling that great, so I'm in definite need for a, of a beer. Cheers and beers, guys, and uh, cheers and beers, cheers and beers, cheers and cheers and queers and beers. I don't know. Don't know what I'm talking about. Been at work all day. That's why I'm. Wearing my pimp suit. Oh. Not super smooth. It's got quite a nice hot bitterness in there. Got that peach. Not so much of the, the, the grassiness. There's a little bit in there. And then there's the fruit in the background, sort of, mm, I said orange, but yeah, it's not, it's those mini oranges, or perhaps 
maybe more of a kind of melony type thing. Maybe a touch of pineapple in there too. Four percent or four and a half, I think it is. Nice quaffing beer too. Um, I'm glad they just called it a pale ale and not a session IPA, because not being funny, but a four and a half percent beer should not be an IPA, and it should not be a session IPA. A pale ale is exactly what it is. So, double thumbs up, Brewery de Moulin spot on, um, absolutely hit the descriptor beautifully. There's quite a nice residual sweetness in there too to balance the hops. The, the hops are there up front, pardon me. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you've got a nice, <clears throat> whoa, Hmm, nice maltiness too. Sorry, my, my voice went all funny there, which was um, a bit weird. Um, this, this is a really, really nice, strong, as in solid pale ale, uh, with some lovely hot flavors, lovely sweet malt, the color is nice, the aroma is fantastic, and the branding is absolutely on point. What more can I say? This is a very, very good beer. I do have another beer, but it's a dark beer. So I'm going to try and dig that one out because I, I try and store my beers in dark beers and light beers. I, I stick to that as opposed to trying to order things by style or date or, you know, whatever it is. So I'll have to go in and dive in and buy, find the De Moulin uh, Porter, I believe it is, which is going to be the beer that I have next. Chin chin. And for those of you that like the lacing, lovely amount of lacing there. That one is getting very high scores. If I did do proper scoring, I'd easily give that sort of a four, four and a half um, out of five. Really, really nice, strong beer. Beautiful from the Windmill Brewery. Cheers and beers, guys, and we'll see you real soon for more beer reviews and uh, more of my summer thoughts about windmills and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Cheers, guys.